Hey guys, you're watching Keeping It Real with Vasavi, and today's question comes from Mary, and she writes, Dear Vasavi, I love your Keeping It Real style. Thank you, Mary. My question is about my relationship. I really want my husband to be different. I feel like he doesn't care about me, and I'm not important. I love to talk about our problems immediately, and I believe that all problems should be solved ASAP. However, me needing to do this is driving him away from me. Sometimes he'll go away for hours because he claims he needs a space. Help, I don't want to be a pain in the neck, but I really do think we need to work on our problems. Mary, this is like a total keeping it real intervention. So I want to just pick apart this email that you just wrote. First of all, you said you need your husband to be different. And did you marry him for him to be different or did you marry him because you loved him as he was? That's just something for you to think about. Number two, you feel like he doesn't care about you and you're not important. That is totally a belief system that you have and it is not real. I can promise you that. The third thing you said is that you love to talk about your problems immediately and you believe that so problems need to be solved ASAP. And they really don't. This is just a compulsion that you have to respond to questions and problems immediately and you think that they need to be solved ASAP. And then you said that you needing to do this drives him away. Of course it does because he may not respond to problems the way that you do. So here's what you gotta do. Number one is my hunch is telling me that whenever there's a problem, like you said in the email, you need to go and fix it immediately. So number one, just for a week, Mary, I want you to stop looking for problems and issues and, and things to work on. I just want you to enjoy your relationship with yourself and with your husband and really start appreciating your husband for the man that he is, not for the man that you want him to be. And let me tell you this, when you start to accept other people for who they are, you will start to accept yourself. But remember that acceptance is a, is a two-way street. You have to accept yourself first to accept other people. However, if you start to accept other people, that will trick into your life and you'll also start to be a little easier on yourself number two is trust trust that you are important and that you are lovable and your husband does care about you there sounds like a there's a there's a conversation in here and a flavor of you know just a lot of rejection and abandonment and I'm wondering how much of this is really present in your current relationship and how much of this is really tied into past situations that you've experienced the next thing is I want you to notice. Just notice where do you problem solve? Because if you're doing it in your relationship, you're probably doing it in other areas of your life. And here's the thing, in your relationship and just in every area of your, of your life, you it sounds like you've really just been giving your power away, right? So for example, just to repeat back what you said, you said that your husband doesn't care about you, you feel like he doesn't care about you and that you're not important. You've totally given away your power to what other people think of you and you just, you know, the way you're viewing yourself is that you're not important and that you don't matter, but you do matter and it's time for you to take your power back. So I want you to start focusing on you, focusing on your need to really solve problems and fix things immediately. I want you to allow yourself to have some space in your life because the, the need for you to solve things ASAP is just not good for you and it's really an opportunity for you to learn how your husband likes to deal with problems. And then you guys can come together, have a healthy conversation about, hey, when we're confronted with this problem, how do you want to deal with it? Well, this is how I want to deal with it. It's just a dialogue and anything can be resolved with communication. So thank you, Mary, for sharing so openly. And if you want more Keeping It Real videos, go to my website at vasavikumar.com. And if you know someone who's a compulsive problem fixer, then they probably need today's Keeping It Real video. So pay it forward and share this video with them. And until next time, keep it real.